even with a vastly improved, more sensitive take on the continent. Perhaps one more sensitive take, more sensitive take. What you want to show it being like what Wakanda, a fictional place that's in Africa from the Marvel universe. You want it to be what? What do you want? How would you like them to show Africa? <laughs> What's going on, people? I guess IGN decided to um, virtue signal today. IGN decided to wake up in the morning, make its coffee, get up and decide, hey, I guess I'm going to get some brownie points today. I think I'm going to fight the good fight. And they ended up making the worst video that they ever made in their entire life. I don't know what they was thinking with this video. What y'all do? They try to get brownie points, especially to capitalize on a conversation that wasn't even a conversation to begin with. Nobody was talking about Resident Evil 5. Nobody even had a thought process of even bringing up anything about Resident Evil 5 whatsoever. You guys know where I'm going with this? There's been a story spreading around the internet with um, IGN basically fumbling the bag when it comes to trying to fight the racism. Because they thought that if they got ahead of it, talking about this topic that ooh maybe we can be on be on the right side before it actually happens or we can try to change the course of it I just completely fucked themselves on this because this video that I'm going to show you guys today is cringeworthy and it's um it's going to there's a lot of things I have to say about this type of shit because it's not just IGN it's it's the people who are like the people who think that making a video like this is a good idea and that they actually believe that they're doing good. I got something to say about this, but first I want to show you guys the video so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I watched it already. I'm just going to be real with you, but I'm going to watch it again to point out the stupid shit that this dude was actually saying and why I cannot stand woke white people. I'm just going to be real. I can't stand woke white people, especially ones like this. Let's go. With Resident Evil 4's release last year, Capcom's project to remake the glory years of its survival horror series is complete. But as the game's post credit scene suggests, the remakes aren't over. And so the big question is, where next? The obvious answer is a remake of Resident Evil 5. But on the game's 15th anniversary, it's clear that moving forward chronologically will take Capcom's remakes into the series' weakest era, an era of gameplay and narrative decisions best left in the past. And that's co work for since woke culture exists, you can't make anything bad or presumably bad about us, about black people, or any person of color, gay, whatever the fuck. That's basically what he's saying. That's cold word for it can't be this because this is offensive. Resident Evil 5 simply can't be remade, at least not to the standards of Capcom's best work. And so the answer is not to remake, but to rewrite. These people get on my nerves. This guy literally thinks that he's doing the right thing. This guy literally believes that he's fighting the good fight. He didn't say to re, you know, to change some things or anything. Notice how he didn't bring up anything about race yet, but we can all hear through the undertones of his talking points, what he's actually saying. He's going to get there. He's just tiptoeing around it right now. This is going to be hard. This is going to be hard for me. Resident Evil is a survival horror series. Not that you'd know that playing Resident Evil 5. Sure, it features a constant flow of horrific imagery, but Resident Evil 5 is an action game through and through. That's evident in its cover shooter mechanics, vehicle chases with on-rails turret sequences, and the constant rattle of assault rifles. Even its visual design evokes the sandy shades of modern military games that experienced mass popularity in the late 2000s. Okay, get to the it point, we know. It all speaks to a series okay. that had lost its way. Rather than reflect on the tenets that were the foundation of its experience, Resident Evil 5 looked to the contemporary gaming zeitgeist in an attempt to find a new lease of life. The okay. result let me tell you how much of a coward this guy is. This guy knew what this video was going to be about. He knew exactly what this video was going to be about. But what people do when they're cowards, when they don't just want to come out and say shit, they put a lot of fluff around it too to build up to the main point that they were trying to say to make it seem like, oh, I'm not literally just... Resident Evil problem is not just racism. It's this too. Because he doesn't want to just say straight up, I made this video to talk about the race issue that I feel that's going on about this game. I felt like white knighting for a class of people who didn't even find this game an issue. That's what he really wants to say. He made an eight minute video talking about all this fluff, trying to explain it, try to wrap it up in a beautiful package when he could have just came out straight up and said, yeah, Resident Evil 5 can't be made, remade today because of I feel like it's racist. I don't like being a white guy, a white, a straight white male 
going around shooting zombies that are black. If he was, if, if he had balls, then he would actually say that, but he doesn't. Assault is an unholy hybrid of Resident Evil, Gears of War, and Call of Duty. It's as ugly and unwieldy as it sounds. This design appears to not just be a misguided attempt to follow Western successes, but also a misreading of its predecessor. With Resident Evil 4, director Shinji Mikami deftly reinvented the series through the use of a new over-the-shoulder camera angle. The perspective allowed for a more kinetic, action-heavy game. Despite this, Mikami never lost sight of the terror at the core of Resident Evil. Through the use of enemies that were strategically placed to provide undulating waves of tension and fear, and the inclusion of Ashley as your vulnerable charge, combat encounters were focused on surviving overwhelming horrors rather than dominating foes. Now Resident Evil 4 was a masterpiece. The new Resident Evil 4 was a masterpiece also. But the thing is, what I find it kind of confusing is, you're going to hear him say this in a minute, but um, I'm just going to be real with you. We all know what the reason why he's making this video. I just told you why. But he doesn't have a problem with Resident Evil 4 about you killing a group of Spaniards. So what? So why is it such a big deal? Why are we singled out as a protective, as a group of people that you feel like you have to protect? Do you feel that we can't protect ourselves? Do you feel like we can't handle certain shit? Do you think of us as this to where you have to baby us or little bro us to be like, oh no, you can't take this. You can't take this, but I'll protect you though. I can't. That shit is annoying to me. Resident Evil 5, meanwhile, presents its enemies as waves to be gunned down with increasingly powerful weaponry. Their purpose is cannon fodder, a wall of meat to slow your progress through levels. And those levels are not locations to be explored. Instead, they are largely funnels that push you from entrance to exit. Resident Evil 4 may have replaced the series' traditional continuous structure with discrete levels in an attempt to move away from the backtracking heavy design of previous games, but it preserved the spirit of locations like the Raccoon City Police Station. The village, Salazar's castle, and the island feature interlocking explorable pathways that okay, solidify I'm not listening to this shit. As I'm not listening to this shit because he's... This is all fluff. If you guys want to see the full video, you can watch the full video. I got it linked in the description. I'm going to skip past the fluff. I'm going to just go straight to the direct point because this is what he really wants to say. ...that Resident Evil 5 is actually the Resident Evil most in need of a remake. A whole new environmental structure and scenario design that reigns in the action and dials up the horror would bring it in line with Capcom's other remakes. But all of this doesn't account for Resident Evil 5's most notorious problem. Here we go. Racism. He... Bingo. Bingo. This... All this four minutes that he had before this point don't mean shit to this point right here. This is what he wanted to say the entire time. He had to have four minutes of fluff and build up because he's a pussy to say the shit that he actually wanted to say. Because he know what this is. He probably was high. He probably was so excited to make this video. He was like, oh, I can't wait to be on the right side of history. Oh, I can't wait to fight. I can't wait to make this video that I know is going to give me brownie points on Twitter. That's going to give me brownie points in the industry. That's going to do all this type of shit. People are going to praise this video to death because you live in a bubble. You literally think that people, that black people like this shit. You honestly believe that we're this Down syndrome group of people that need your protection from a video game. That's the point that I don't think most people are understanding about this shit. See, white people are mad about this from different reasons why regular black people are pissed about this or are annoyed about this. Most people are annoyed. I'm pissed because I don't like this shit. I don't like these type of people. These type of people are literally the bane of my existence. I can't stand these people. These people are so fake and so guilty that it pisses me off. It took you four minutes to get to this point. So we know what the real reason is, right? Listen to what this punk ass person got to say about this shit. Watch this. Set in a fictional West African country, Resident Evil 5's primary antagonists are black people. Yes, it's so? technically the Ouroboros virus that protagonist Chris Redfield is fighting. But the Parasite's host is depicted as a nation of mobs and primitives who are violent even before their infection. Intention Let me tell you one thing about Africa. I don't know anything about Africa. Elon Musk is more African than me. Do you know the people that he's trying to protect right now don't even give a fuck about what he's saying. Real Africans do not care about this dude. Do they don't even know what who this dude is or even care. They don't have the same issues we do. They don't fight social justice. Justice. They don't do none of that bullshit over there. So the partic so the group that he's talking to right now are black Americans. He these white people literally think that we as African Americans take what happens in Africa as to heart. I don't I don't identify with Africans. I'm not from Africa. I'm a fucking American. I'm not in the, I don't 
I don't live in a hut. I don't hunt with a spear. It's not like all of them do that over there anyway. It's just the fact that you think that you have to protect me from a culture that I have nothing to do with. But these guilty ass white knights will look at anything like this and be like, oh, this must be offensive to black people. I have to be sympathetic towards these group of people that's not even asking me to be sympathetic towards and you just end up looking racist yourself nobody even is bitching about this but you because you equate you look at all black people the same and you trying to virtue signal you trying to be the good white person you know how many good white people i know and i mean actually good white people the good white people i'm talking about are the ones who do not virtue signal to me they treat me like a normal fucking person they talk shit to me like a normal person they be nice to me like a normal person and they will fight me if they're you know like I do some shit like a normal person and I'll fight them like a normal person. That's how normal people treat each other. No sympathetic bullshit. But when you start virtue signaling and sucking my dick because you believe that it's going to have you be on the right side of the political spectrum, you are the biggest bitch on the planet. You will literally suck my dick if I told you to for reparations. Or not, Resident Evil 5 positions Africa as the dark continent, an uncivilized world harboring a diseased population that needs gunning down via Western intervention in the name of- Okay, let me ask any black person in the, in the comment section. Do you want to move to Africa? Do you want to move to Uganda? Do any black person- All the black people that said during the election, and I'm not even political, I don't care about this shit. Anybody, every black person that said they was going to move to Africa during the election didn't move to Africa or after the election. Why do you think that is? Oh, I want to move back to the motherland. Really? Then go and do it. I bet you they won't even like you there. What you people need to understand right quick, and, and I noticed some Africans that actually watched me too. I had some Africans in the, um, the chat and in my comment section before. Africans don't even fuck with us. We are not the same. Like I said, Elon Musk is more African than me. And he's a white guy. I don't share their culture. These people are so out of touch, it's funny. It's ridiculous. Of global security. This insensitive treatment of people of color was hotly debated even as early as Resident Evil 5's debut trailer. Fuck with writers you. such as Ngai Kroll and Steven Totillo pointing out the game's uncomfortable post-colonial imagery. The arguments and think pieces continued well into the game's release window, with IGN's own former editor-in-chief Hilary Goldstein having also wrestled with the subject. But well, that was 2009. Read this shit. And this was back in the day. I remember when this happened too it wasn't as big as an issue as it as it is now like race topics was not a big issue as it was to now this shit says the potty mouth of the main character chris redfield isn't an issue nor is the excessive blood routine decapitations whatever was drawing the eye the ire what the fuck is that a mini outside industry and raising eyebrows is who you kill in resident evil 5 so you're telling me that we're such a protected class of people that you can't even kill us in video games are you kidding me but we can kill all white people we can kill creatures we can kill kids and we can run over police and grab that photo but you're telling me that oh you can't shoot black people that doesn't make us feel special that makes us feel retarded that makes us feel special in the other way not special in the oh my god we're such a proud good people no it makes us feel retarded you know you gotta treat retarded people a little bit differently than you treat normal people because they can't handle certain things or they not able to process stuff. That's how you treat, that's not protecting and that's not a good thing to do to people. That makes us feel retarded and you're not gonna make me feel retarded. I don't like being treated like I got special needs when I don't have a fucking disability. So the only black people that are actually on board with this shit are the ones in their bubble and those are the black people who never who, like i said before if you guys watch my content you know i distinguish the difference between certain black people and the black people that i know there are black people who are from the burbs the suburbs who are around a protected class of people and who are and who had better lives let's just put it like that which means that you didn't have struggles you're not a victim you had a good life these are the only black people that would be on board with this shit the only ones we are not the same the people you are trying to protect do not want your protection we don't give a fuck about it i love this game matter of fact everybody in the hood was playing resident evil 5 killing niggas that's what we did killing zombies i didn't give a fuck I didn't care if it was Chris or whoever. We just liked it because it, it was in a different setting. It's in Africa this time. Wow, okay, cool. It wasn't a, uh, well, why we gotta kill black people? I didn't give it. Nobody cares about this shit but guilty white people. Fuck y'all. Pussies. Jesus Christ. The amount of white guilt is so cringe to me. A time when race was apparently a debate rather than a reality. In the 2020s, in a post-Black Lives Matter world, there is only oh one God. acceptable response to a white man shooting waves of Africans for an entire video game. This guy feels so no. good about himself. He feels so good about himself. 
I have a job to do. This guy feels so good Remakes about himself. may be able to redefine their source material, but there's only so many changes you can make until it's not a remake at all, but an entirely new game. And if you take Africa out of Resident Evil 5, is it Resident Evil 5 anymore? Even with a vastly improved, more sensitive take on the continent, perhaps one more sensitive take? More sensitive take? What you want to show it being like, what, Wakanda? A fictional place that's in Africa from the Marvel Universe? You want it to be... What, what do you want? How would you like them to show Africa? You do know there's gangs in Africa, right? Militias, families that can't survive. They're trying to leave Africa because they'll get killed. How? What light would you want to show Africa in from your white lens? What would you want to show them? How would you want to show them? You don't even fucking know. The only thing you want to do is to not seem racist. But by not seeming racist, you look racist. I don't think y'all realize that. You're so fucking dumb. The, the amount of white pussy guilt gets on my fucking nerves. And, and the white people know what I'm talking about. Man, the white people I know will punch you in the mouth. They don't like this shit. Nobody does. Well, yeah, some people do because you wouldn't be, you wouldn't have the idea that making this video will give you brownie points. You think that this is really doing something. You think that you saying this is really going to get you brownie points. Black protagonist and a more empathetic look at the outbreak, the experience would simply be too divorced from the original to oh, hold Jesus. the name Resident Evil 5. He wanted there so to be a black protagonist to balance out the fact that you're killing black people in the game. You fucking, Jesus Christ. And y'all wonder why Sweet Baby is actually taking over the whole industry. Cause you got cucks like this that actually exist. They really believe that they're fighting a good fight. It's not even the amount of echo chamber that's coming out this dude. You can just tell that this guy has been around nothing but people that think like him. It's very obvious. These people are so pre pretentious, it's funny. You really believe that you're the, you're the moral superiority in this conversation. Capcom go now. Oh, this is hard. Personally, I'd look backwards. Code Veronica is an ideal candidate, as is the original Resident Evil. But if the only way is chronologically forward, then a total rewrite of what comes next is the logical path. Because what, what followed Resident Evil 4 was not one terrible game, but two. Resident Evil 6 doubled down no, triple down on the action-packed set-piece heavy shooter design. Okay, so now he's going to the other place because what people do, like I said, when people are pussies, when they can't just come out and say exactly what they believe, they have to start off with a bunch of fluff, say what they mean at the middle, that's what they really made it for, and then at the end they got to come up with shit to basically make you forget that the middle part was there. So they can just be like, oh no, it wasn't just the race part. It's a whole host of issues that's wrong with this game. That's the reason why it shouldn't be remade. Just say what the fuck you mean and quit the fluff. YouTubers do it all the time too. I'm not one of them YouTubers. I get straight to the fucking point. Most of these people are like this. Say what the fuck you were coming on camera to say and then get off. This pussy ass shit get on my nerves. Capcom has given itself the freedom to do whatever it wants. I just hope it's not a remake of Resident Evil 5. For more on how Cap But there you go. You basically got what IGN um thought was gonna be their fucking crowning achievement when it comes to fighting racism. They thought it was gonna be a good thing and it ended up backfiring on them. You wanna know why? This is how much of these people live in their own world. They think that what they're doing is good until they put it out into the world and they realize, oh nobody's vibing with this. Watch this. The reason why I like X so much is because of the freedom of speech and I'm just going to be real. I love community notes. Community notes is the perfect, is the most best thing that you can have on the platform when it comes to checking these people. Beautiful. So you saw their video on um, YouTube, right? IGN posted this on X not too long ago. Resident Evil 5 simply can't be remade. The same shit we just seen, right? At least not by today's standards. So the answer is to remake is not to remake, but to rewrite it. And it has a link to go to the YouTube video, whatever the fuck, right? Community Notes said, no racist or discriminatory marks towards people of color are present, present in the game and enemies are treated no different than any other in the series. Thank you. The article also mentions that the game would be benefit from a black lead in a remake, ignoring the character Shiva. Thank you. You didn't even, you, I didn't even think about that. Shiva is black. And you didn't even realize that because you're so trying you're so used to virtue signaling that everything just went out the went out the door. You just had the blinders on because you just had a main mission. And that was just to how can I fight racism today? Or my version of racism. And you ended up looking like the stupid racist. Okay, so look, look. After this, they do exactly what Sweet Baby and all these other virtue signaling pussies do when it doesn't go their way. When, it, when the discourse don't go their way, when they thought that what they was putting out there was going to be well received and it ends up being not well received, guess what they do? The comments are fucking off on X. 
I guess because they was getting so much heat because of this. This shit got 6.1 million views. No comments. But every other post that they have after this, comments are turned on. I'm surprised their YouTube video. I'm surprised their YouTube is not turned off with the comments. I'm surprised because they're flaming them in this shit. Everybody's saying, yep, you should, you still got time to delete this video. Garbage take on, in 2009, garbage take in 2024. Nobody's liking this shit. And like I said, the only people who agree with this shit are bitches like this. We have no white people on our team. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. And she deserves a whole video herself. So I'm gonna make another video talking about this bitch too. This shit needs to stop. Y'all virtue signaling, dick sucking white people need to stop doing this shit. And the white people, the regular white people know exactly what I'm talking about because they feel the exact same way about you. They do not like you. We don't fuck with you. Let me tell you the reason why regular white people don't fuck with y'all. The people who talk like this on social media is because y'all make them look like they're pussies. Y'all make them all look like they're pussy beta males. And trust me, I know some white people that are not, boy, they can't stand y'all. And so can I. So can't the regular black people. The regular black people do not like it when people suck up to them, suck their dick, do all that type of shit. I respect people who deserve, demands respect. And this soft mentality to where you feel like you have to constantly bow down to us, to virtue signal to us, and to protect us. It's getting old as fuck. Nobody likes it. Take our dick out your mouth. Be a normal fucking person. And critique us equally like how every Resident Evil game did before. We was killing motherfuckers in all Resident Evil games, all races and creeds for, since, the, since Resident Evil 1. What's the fucking difference if you go to Africa? Oh, because it's us. And because Black Lives Matter says so. Black Lives Matter is full of fake people to try to steal money from the community. That still hasn't get, gave back to us yet. They literally started a movement for money to capture the moment that was happening during that time what happened with George Floyd. That was it. They capitalized on it to make money off of people's sympathies. That's what Black Lives Matter was for. The lady lives in a $5 million house and you're gonna bring up Black Lives Matter like it has some levity to it? Black Lives Matter is a fake ass organization. So no, and we all know this, all black people behind the scenes know this, that are not on the internet. The only black people you would see that would be like, no, Black Lives Matter was actually doing a good job, are the ones that didn't grow up around predominantly black people. Like I said, the educated, and I'm doing the quotations, educated blacks, oh, they all on board for that shit. Because they want to feel like they're a victim. Regular black people just want to be fucking human beings. You get the message now? Take my dick out your mouth. Oh, 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 oh,